who am I? When I was little, every time I looked in the mirror, I saw a stranger staring back at me. And he was very, very angry. What could I do with all this anger? Hot, vibrating electricity with no place to ground it. I just finished watching episode 2 of HBO's critically acclaimed Watchmen and I have tons of questions which I narrowed down into these 7 big questions. Starting off with number 1, who the hell was this? Who saved Will Reeves in the end? This huge magnet thing that lifted him off from the ground to somewhere. Who do you guys think was that? Could that be Will's team or his men. I mean, he's a guy who looks like he has resources, rich and powerful and all that, um, and who would have something like that huge magnet thing. Or could that be the original Watchmen members because he is part of Watchmen previously? We'll discuss that in a bit. But so far, I'm having fun with his word play with Will. He is a guy who speaks in metaphors and also speaks literally. So when he says, I have friends in high places, he literally means he has friends in high places. Two, who is Will Reeves generally? He's a character showed up from nowhere in front of Angela and then suddenly he admits that he's the murderer of Judd and Angela doesn't seem to believe that but I do think he's telling the truth. He could have made orders to kill Judd so he doesn't necessarily have to do it directly. So I do think he's telling the truth but thinking about the facts that we are presented here, Will Reeves wears his red and purple suit that kind of reminds me of Joker but that's another universe. Going back to the Watchmen universe, another character with his red theme is Hooded Justice. So is it possible that Will Reeves is or was Hooded Justice and now he comes back to Tulsa? Or maybe not because according to him he's Dr. Manhattan. Technically, that's possible because Dr. Manhattan is a godlike figure and he can do everything he wants. Is Will Reeves actually Angela's grandfather or this is all part of his grand plan so he wants to manipulate Angela to think that they are related so she will be on his side? Well, we all assume that Will Reeves is the kid in the premiere episode who picked up that letter, watch over this kid. But what happens to that kid afterwards? How did he grow up? And more importantly, where is that baby that the young kid picked up? Who did that baby grow up to be? Three, just thinking out of the box, is Will Reeves really crippled or does he really need that wheelchair or he's pretending because that wheelchair contains communication channels or his tools and equipments for his superhero stuff? I don't know, probably. What do you guys think? 4. How did Angela Abar survive the White Knight? The White Knight is the night where no police officers were murdered by the 7th Cavalry. This is the reason why today police officers wear masks so that they can protect themselves. But during that night, only Angela and Judd survived. But realistically, how did Angela survive that? Because we all know she was shot in her body and the gun was pointed in her head, but suddenly she wakes up in the hospital with Judd. So did anyone save her? Did Judd save her? Or this is a, a manipulative move by Judd so that Angela will think that um, there's a threat and they all need to be together? I don't know. Um, but what do you guys think? But why would Judd want her alive? Five. What is this watchmaker son play all about? What does that mean? We see this guy who we all think is Ozymandias and it appears to me that he is a disturbed man. Do you guys think he is mentally ill? I mean, he used his servants for his as characters for his play, as actors for his play, and later on we find that he's burning his servants alive, but those are clone servants, so he has been cloning his servants. Now I'm not even sure if his original servants are actual people or those are clones. Is he living with a bunch of clones in his big estate or, or what is going on in here? Um, it appears that he is going to be the villain in the show, but the question is, how is he going to do that? He's known to be the smartest person 
um, in the world and some fan theories suggest that he is going to recreate Dr. Manhattan which I think is super possible. In the last Watchmen movie, he was able to recreate Dr. Manhattan's power so why couldn't he do it this time? Full blast recreate Dr. Manhattan. 6. Did Judd fake his own death? I know, I know, he's presumably dead right now, but you guys remember the TV show that the characters were watching in Watchmen, American Hero Story? They're telling the story of this guy, Circus Strongman, and Circus Strongman faked his own death so that people would stop looking for him. Um, and as that as that show was ending, they gradually um, transferred the scene into Angela going into Judd's um, party, like funeral, not really a funeral party, but they're having some people over uh, because of Judd's death. So somehow it feels like it's connected and it's trying to give us a clue. Um, and also Will, according to Will Reeves, um, in the beginning of the show, he said that there's a conspiracy in Tulsa and he's giving Angela the details bit by bit. Um, and what, what does that mean? We see Judd hanging the tree with Will Reeves. So what does that symbolize? What is the clue in there? It might be that they are working together, Judd and Will Reeves, and Judd is actually alive. 7. What's up with this TV show in the TV show American Hero Story? It feels so much like a callback to Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 2 where Podrick was singing Jenny's song where it feels like the song was narrating what's gonna happen within that episode or within the whole um, entire show. It's like a big Easter egg. What do you guys think about that? That sums up our video for today. If you guys know the answers to any of my questions, please put it in the comments below or if you have more questions, please put it there too and I will see you next time.